Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Sudha. I'm a physician. And today I want to talk about an emerging issue in the field of healthcare and that is antibiotic resistance. So now what is an antibiotic? An antibiotic is a drug that will help kill the bacteria in our body that is causing an infection. It's against a bacteria, it's not against a virus, a parasite or a fungi. What is antibiotic resistance? When we give an antibiotic for a certain infection in the body and that bacteria ends up not being killed because it has now developed mechanisms against the antibiotic and it is now not getting killed by the antibiotic. That is when we call it as antibiotic resistance. These Antibiotic abuse situations have led to antibiotic resistance in today's world. And now what are the effects of that? Uh, we have something called superbugs, where these are the organisms that cause regular infections, but these are resistant to multiple antibiotics, in which case we are left with very limited set of antibiotics, which we call as higher antibiotics in a casual way. This antibiotic resistance has led to, has led to evolution of superbugs. What are superbugs? These are the organisms that are resistant to multiple antibiotics, which means antibiotic A, antibiotic B, antibiotic C cannot be used now. And we will have to use the limited set of antibiotics which we have for clinical treatment. And the problem here is that this kind of superbugs, whenever they cause an infection, be it a simple infection or a complicated infection, because they are difficult to treat, this will lead to increase in duration of stay of the patient in hospital. This will lead to increase in the morbidity, this lead to increase in the cost of treatment of the same infection compared to the one where the infection is because of a sensitive strain. And this antibiotic resistance itself now is an evolving global issue. According to a WHO report, around 50% of the antibiotics that were used in 2019 were not needed. So what can we do to prevent antibiotic resistance as patients? First thing no self-medication. Please refrain from it. As you to take the same antibiotics for prolonged case, then it must be a little bit complicated infection, in which case you need to take it for the prolonged course, be it an IV antibiotic or be it an oral antibiotic. And lastly, when you feel that the symptoms are not coming down, please go and follow up with a physician because the antibiotic might not be acting on the existing infection, which means it is already resistant, the organism, in which case you have to go back and report and then further investigation will be done and you will be added on the appropriate antibiotic for the condition. So the take home messages will be don't use antibiotics without a physician prescription, don't use antibiotics for a limited duration of time and don't default on the frequency of antibiotic dosage. Good day.